what's up youtube it's your boy matrix 21 back with a new episode of fresh kicks where we talk about upcoming sneakers and i give you release information and stuff like that but before we get into it make sure that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video check out my twitter page at matrix 21 and my etsy shop at td made it both the links are down below in the description but enough of that let's go let's get to the kicks so today we have the air jordan 13 in a black flint colorway they look pretty dope so let's go as usual, part one is breakdown. We break down the overall look of the sneakers. I give you colors and materials used, and I just talk about them. So let's get to it. So here is the Black Flint Air Jordan 13s. Definitely a dope looking sneaker. I mean, you have the Flint colorway, but you just change a couple things, take the blue off, put black, put a little bit of red on the tongue, and that's in call of the day. But they look pretty decent. So let's talk about the actual colors that are used. We have black, university red, Flint gray, and white pretty simple you know what it is and they look pretty dope you don't have leather for the uppers well you do have leather white leather on the uppers but you do have that kind of mesh or you know the usual 13 material for the black part and you have like a suede but i think it's more of a new buck for the gray and it looks pretty dope in my opinion black gray white always works well together put a little bit of red in it and you have a bulls colorway and it, look, it works very very well together uh i just like the way this thing looks and to me I know I may get some flack for this, but I like these better than the original Flint. These are pretty dope in my opinion, and it's a sneaker that I really want to get for my collection. So we shall see. We shall see. Here's the top down look of the sneaker. Like I said, white going all the way from the toe box all the way up on the laces, the tongue, all of that is white. It is broken up by the black piece with Jordan on it. Other than that, it's pretty much a whole white going up to a red jump man on the tongue. And it looks pretty dope in my opinion. The uh, sock liner is black. Insole is black with the red jump band on it. So, you know, black, red, white. It works very well. We know what it is. The contrast is nice on it. It just works. It works. It's a simple sneaker. So, yeah. And also, let's take a look at the back where we have more of that gray. We have that cat eye, which looks pretty dope. The hologram in it. Pretty dope. And uh, I just, like I said, the black and gray just works. Black, gray, white, red. I, I've said it numerous times. You know how it is. And on the bottom of the sneaker, the pods are white. You have black and you have the red circle with the Jumpman logo on it. Black carbon fiber. Nothing too crazy. So let's take a look at some of the closer details, which aren't much of this sneaker, but we'll just look at the materials used. Like I said, I think that gray is more of a new buck, not a suede. If it is, it's pretty short and I don't think it's going to have much of a backstroke motion on it, but it is what it is. And like I said, that black has the same material you get for most 13s. No leather right there, but pretty dope and like i said you do have a white leather it's not really tumbled more of a little bit of smooth but eh, right in between tumbled and smooth but it looks pretty cool black jordan on the bottom of the tongue and like i said more of that black kind of meshy material and now let's get to the release and price information All right now, so the release date for these is April 22nd, 2023, which is next week. So I gotta, I gotta get these. Price tag is 200 bucks. Better find these as the usual suspects. Sneakers app, Nike.com, select retailers. If they sell out on Sneakers app, you may not find them on Nike's app, but you know, I, I don't think they're gonna sell out too quickly. Well, you know what, it is still tax time. So these may sell out. This is kind of that common, regular, nothing crazy going with a Jordan, and it might end up selling out 200 bucks. April 22nd, dope dope so now let's move on to value or my speculated value which i think you pretty much already know what this is and i might end up changing this segment in the future so yeah so is this a pass a rock or a stock it's a rock i don't think it's a stock i don't think the price will go up on it too far uh maybe if you hold on to this for like a couple years but as of right now i think this is definitely a rock i don't think the price will jump up on it but this is a pretty dope colorway so i say get these buy these wear them this well And now we move to the recap and my final grade for these sneakers. So once again, April 22nd, 2023 is the release date. I'll put 20, 2022, I'll change that right now. The price tag is actually 200 bucks. And like I said, sneakers app, Nike.com, select retailers. Shouldn't be too hard to find. And I don't expect these to sell out too quickly, but you never know how it goes. But I, I want to add these to my collection. So I want to get them right away. 
Uh, I'll give these 8 out of 10. Definitely a cop in my opinion. Like I said, I like these better than the original flints and definitely better than those red flints that came out a couple years ago. Yeah, these are dope. 8 out of 10. Cop in my opinion. Need to pick these up. Put these on feet. Yeah, I like them. So what do you think about these? Did you think these are a cop? Do you think these will be a flop? Just let me know in the comments below. But that's all I got for you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video. This is your boy Matrix21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.